where Bonhoeffer f enables you to struggle with the question of what, is it, what does it mean to be responsible? Um, that, was, that was a radical address in the sense that I always thought you could pretty well figure out what was right to do. And the only question was, did you have the courage to act to do what was right? Or you ended up justifying what you did do as, well, I really couldn't do that at this point or what have you. The price was too high to pay. And that section uh, uh, allowed me to, uh, how to put it, I have to use the language they use, to walk in a freedom that is not a freedom to do any damn thing you want, but a freedom to take responsibility for everything that you do. And um, the thing that uh, you begin to become aware of is that you never know your actions of what the results are going to be. They, short term, they may be fantastic. Long term, they may be exactly the wrong thing to do. You never know. And so the, the, the internal capacity you've got to do is two things. One, the capacity to surrender. By that I mean render up. To, to act and then say, I acted in whatever, no justification, but render it up because you now have a new situation on your hands. And, and then from that or parallel to that is detachment. You get, it's so easy to get attached to your successes, you know, or if you want to walk around guilty, to your failures. It's so easy to keep your name on them. You know, you carry them around like a stuff in a backpack and say, well, let me trot out this. It's got my name on it. See? Right there. I invented Goodwright 3114, which I did. Um... Look at how much difference it's made in the world, you know. Or look at this, these, these two kids, you know. Those are mine, you know. They're mine. They got my name on it. Well, one doesn't because it's, she was adopted. But, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you go through your life with your backpack of those things on this side, which you pull out, that have your name on it. These also have your name on it, but you don't talk about those. You know? <laughs> these are the things that that uh, you just as soon not talk about. And what I've learned over these years is it doesn't matter. It's the capacity to surrender it and to embrace what's happening. <laughs>